So quite a few people have asked me for ideas on how to teach fractions. If I'm totally honest, I would teach decimals, percentages and fractions kind of all together, but also in that order. I like starting with decimals uh, because place value is so fundamental to what we do in math. So here are some fraction ideas. A good way to teach about denominators and numerators is to uh, use concrete materials so they can actually count there are four pieces here and three of them are red. There are one, two, three, four, five, six of these and four of them are red. For uh, breaking down in proper fractions, it's a great idea to use some Numicon. So you can say we have eight as our numerator and then how many holes fit into eight? Well, we've got two holes, remainder two. So we've got two holes and two thirds. For more abstract concepts, you can use an empty number line. So if you give them a number line and have zero to one, you could get them to plot uh, fractions on this line, where they think they go. You can actually play a really cool game called three in a row, where partners take turns to put fractions on the line, and they have to try and get three fractions in a row. Hey look, I can win. Woohoo! You can really challenge learners by making a wonky line. Same concept, but more hands-on. You can give them a slip of uh, paper and say this represents one. Then you can get them to fold it in half. And then mark down the fraction on the fold. Fold in those halves and half again. You can start to build a wee uh, fraction strip. And the sky's the limit, really, with one of these. Now, if you watched any of my videos, you'll know I love to throw things. Five balls. See how many you can get in a target and then you can get them to convert their results into fractions. And if you're up in the school and trying to act cool, why not put on some rap? To help kids understand the process of finding fractions of whole amounts, so you can say, divide it by the bottom, times it by the top, come on P7, show me what you got. So we would divide it by the bottom and times it by the top to get our answer. <laughs> 